Good evening. Thanks for joining us on this Sunday night. I'm Jason Zimmerman. We begin tonight by going back to 2012, a horrific story you might remember involving three children murdered in River Falls, killed by their father. The domestic violence case left Jessica Lee Peterson, the mother, devastated. All of this happening just after a bitter divorce. Since then, she's written a book telling her story and explaining her path to recovery. This weekend, she was in Green Bay at a local bookstore. That's where she also sat down with Emily Roberts for a one-on-one -on -one interview. It's a story you'll see only on Action 2 News. I took the hard road of trying to bring enough good out of their deaths to balance the harm the world has suffered. Amara, Sophie, and Cecilia, gone too soon, just 11, 8, and 5 years old at the time of their deaths, but forever memorialized on the pages of thistles and thorns. Yes. Horrible, horrible things happen. Um, life can be full of tragedies and traumas, but it is possible to survive those. Few dry eyes in the Lion's Mouth bookstore as Jessica Lee Peterson shares her journey of perseverance, seeking justice, and spreading love. All of us will experience loss, grief, and trauma to some degree. Peterson wrote for five years, an emotional process, as she describes the last moments she had with her girls before they were murdered by their father in 2012. He's serving three consecutive life sentences for their deaths. Justice, Peterson talks about fighting for in the courtroom. I think really what I hear a lot is thank you for your vulnerability. Thank you for sharing this. It allows people to themselves also share their pain and suffering instead of hiding it away. Thank you, Flo. The event features a book signing with Peterson leaving personalized messages, including for fellow author Flo Parfit. I am just thoroughly amazed at what she has been through and how she has survived. And she has a very good lesson for everyone that they can absorb. You know, it depends on a lot of people. It takes a village to raise a child and it takes a village to heal people too, I think. So, uh, you know, I, I'm hoping that they might be able to open up a little more if they are suffering. Peterson hopes she can help readers handle grief with grace. You're not alone. Um, and that your trauma and your losses don't have to reach the level of international news to be worthy of sharing and looked at. If you are interested in reading Peterson's story of healing and survival, we have information to get you started at WBAY.com links. In Green Bay, Emily Roberts, Action 2 News.